Okay, so go back to what you were saying, Josh, when I interrupted you and I brought Brian into the conversation. You're saying that Jacob's basically worked hard. He obviously is a uh, top-notch competitor. We've seen what he's done in yeah, CrossFit. Yeah, so like, yeah, like realizing, like, obviously he's going to realize that he needs to, what he needs to do to, to fine-tune the last few weeks uh, before he goes into an event like this. So, um, Yeah, it'd be different if both of us had never been to the games for very many years. It'd yeah. be a different type of, type of mindset or whatever we've done, but we've both done what we've done for very many years and done well at it for obvious reasons, right? We know how to, I mean, to be quite honest, like to say no to a lot of things requires a support team around you that is willing to accept no. A lot of guys I know that I've competed with um, didn't have the significant others or the team around them that could take a no. Like my wife, and <clears throat> I'm sure Josh has significant others that can say, they can hear, no, I'm not doing that. And they're okay with that. Like, yeah, that's, that's right. But that, that's who Josh is because Josh has to focus on going to games for his last time or doing this boxing match or whatever the case may be. And that takes a good support team to be able to just take that no and kind of roll with it. Or else if they don't accept your no, they got to get kicked to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just not going. I'm not going to leg, so you either accept it or not. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so, someone, here, someone here says that they'd pay money to see uh, Froning and Matt Fraser fight. No shit. No shit. Right. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I'd gladly step out of the ring and, and be like, go ahead, guys. <laughs> yeah. I, will, I will pay to watch this. I will watch this. 